Officials are releasing more information on the fire that killed one and displaced about 200 more. Investigators say the fire at Courtview Towers was started by a cigarette. WAF of 48's Aria Pons live now in front of those apartments. Aria, is there any word on when residents can go home? Liz, Chief Tim Anderton says he doesn't know exactly when residents will be allowed back into the building as there was a lot of water and smoke damage, but it might take a while. As you can tell behind me, though, they have been able to turn the power back on in the building. Chief Anderton says they were able to contain the fire in one apartment on the fourth floor. However, the smoke and water damage caused problems throughout the building. The Florence Fire Marshal says fourth floor residents will likely have to wait much longer to return than others because of the damage there. Residents have been displaced since the fire on December 29th. He says the 911 call came from Eva Crittenden, who lived in the apartment where the fire began. She died as a result of the fire. Chief Anderton says his crew was there minutes after Crittenden's call. He says the fire department has a plan and equipment in place to battle any fire in the city. Well, as a chief of the department, I'm certainly proud for what took place that day and the work and the effort. Uh, again, you know, we're certainly mindful of the loss of life, but it, it could have also been worse. We're certainly going to make sure the building is safe and ready for operation and, and occupancies back in. Chief Anderton says he wants to remind everyone to check their fire detection system and make sure that it's working so that they can keep their loved ones safe. Reporting live in Florence, Aria Pons, 48 on your side.